All right, I put it all together. Let's put this to the test. I have a tablet that's running the Perfect Blend software. It is an Android and it requires um, Bluetooth. So with Bluetooth, I've paired it to my scale, which is going to tell me how to do things. And then afterwards, I'll blend everything together. So I'm going to select, I'm going to do this upside down and see how this works. Blend. Oops. Okay. So scale. Remove all items from the scale, then press OK. All right. So there we am. It's giving me now a list of, ing of ingredients it wants. And it's telling me, see the blinking jar? It's telling me to put the jar on there. Boop, boop. There it is, the jar. It's recognized the jar. And by the way, you can put the different uh, Vitamix jars on there and it'll recognize each jar. So this has recognized my jar. It's looking for water, about half a cup. I got a glass of water here. Watch what happens when I add the water. Ta-da, it's done. Okay, now it wants about it's three quarters of a cup of grapes. I've got some grapes here that I've washed. So let's start putting in grapes. Isn't that cool? And one more. Okay. Ding. Tell me I've got enough. All right. What's next? Orange. So there's my orange, roughly peeled. By the way, some presenters will say you can leave all the pith on because it's healthy for you. Well, that's okay if you don't have the taste bud that tastes the kind of bitter that's in this pith. So some of us do, some of us don't. I do. I can't stand that bitterness. All right, so roughly, what does it say about... 0.8 orange. I'm just going to start adding orange. That was enough. What's next? Kale. This is using a lot of kale. 56 grams. Yay. I'm used to using 15 grams at a time. Kale, 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 kale. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of kale. Not happy yet. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Oh my gosh. Ding already, will you? Ding. Ah, thank goodness. I set those aside. About 0 0.9 banana. 100 grams of banana. Okay, I've got a ripe banana here. Really ripe. Look how nicely spotted that is. It's funny, I love the flavor of bananas, but I don't like the smell. I know that's weird. Okay. Like if I peel a banana, I cannot leave the peels in the trash. I have to take the trash out because I can smell those peels in the trash. Oh, it drives me nuts. Okay, bananas are in there. What's next? It's saying about 0 0.4 60 grams of pear i've got a nice yellow pear here that's well ripened oh that's nice and ripe a little bit more i like pear in my salads done pear is in ice cubes 200 grams okay i've got some ice cubes here and by the way if you don't want to use regular Water ice, you can make green tea, let it cool, freeze it, and then you have green tea cubes. I've done that. Just a little bit healthier for you. But we're doing things by the book right now. Okay, use tamper as needed. So I'm going to move this onto my blender. You start it.
that is a green smoothie. All right, there's my smoothie. And that looks smooth compared to my conventional blender. Look how smooth that is. Let's see what that tastes like. All right, another green smoothie. Surprisingly delicious. <laughs> I say surprisingly because of all that kale in there, but that's good. It's cold, tastes like bananas. Mm -hmm. And it's plenty sweet enough. If you like sweeter smoothies, you can always add some stevia. So, excuse me, I'm going to go enjoy my green smoothie.